What if you can learn how to create a responsive sidebar just like this? A sidebar that just works. For example, when you click inbox here, it should take you to the inbox page. You can collapse this and you can also open it. Great. This navbar is the most modern way of implementing a sidebar. Even ChatGPT uses this. We can see in ChatGPT here, you can collapse this navbar here and you can also open the sidebar. Great. We, can, we are going to learn all these in one tutorial. Welcome to this amazing tutorial. We'll start by opening our VS Code and creating a folder inside our desktop. And you can name it, give it a beautiful name like sidebars. You can give it a name of your choosing. I'll drop it inside our VS Code. And then we can just click on the three dots here. Click on Terminal, New Terminal. Then you need to install Next.js. We're going to use the latest version of Next.js. Therefore, just come inside my browser and search for Next.js. And to install Next.js is pretty easy. We just need Node at least version 18.18. .18. We also need an automatic version installation. So to install Next.js automatic, we just need to use this command here. I'm going to copy this command, which is npx create dash next dash app at latest. Great. And I'm going to copy it inside this terminal here. Finally, I'm going to put a space then dot. This ensures that the project will be created inside our folders app. Great, then you can just press enter. We are going to use TypeScript. Therefore, ensure that you select TypeScript. The rest, just press enter and leave it as default. And if you see this success message, that means our project has been created successfully. Without wasting time, let us dive in into ShadCN UI. We will search for ShadCN sidebar. And select the first one that appears great you should see this first example you have a beautiful sidebar here that can be collapsed and can also be opened we also have some icons here you can see we have a collapsible sidebar with sub menus inside it let us have a quick introduction to sidebars so what are sidebars they are most complex components to build i'm going to make it easier for you to integrate in your application that means they are also central to any application. It's impossible to have a world-class application without a sidebar. The next step is just to install the sidebar. But before we install the sidebar, let us install ShadCN UI. To install ShadCN UI, just navigate here inside the installation tab here. Click it and then we'll select our framework. We're using Next.js. Therefore, I'm going to click on Next.js. Great. And we need just and we need just to use this command here. I'm going to copy this command. This ensures that the defaults are installed. The default like New York, Zinc, and yes for all the CSS variables. I'm going to click here, copy, and then move inside our terminal and just paste it here. When you see this use dash dash force, just press enter. We have to use force because we are using the latest version of react after successful installation you should see this success message here that means ShadCN has been installed correctly let us move back to our documentation and see how to use the sidebar therefore just navigate back ensure that you are under the sidebar here great let us see how to use it so we, we need to copy this command npx ShadCN at latest add sidebar i'm going to copy this and paste it inside the terminal great after successfully installing sidebar we can see we have these components that have been installed we have the sidebar pattern separator sheet and all of these have been created inside the components folder and inside it another folder named ui is used to store all these files. We can verify this by just moving inside the components and you can see we have a UI folder that is created. We did not create this file. ShadCN does this automatic. And inside it, we can see we have various components of ShadCN. We have a button, an 
input separator sheet sidebar skeleton and a tooltip just the same information that we are seeing here great let us move to the next step the next step is to just copy these colors inside global.css but you do not have to do it because the documentation says this command above should install the colors for you the command above which is this one here so if this one is correct or the installation is successful we do not need to move to step two and that means let us just have a look at the next step the next step is to understand the structure of the sidebar create this is the sidebar itself the black surrounding here we have a sidebar header which is the first part here let me zoom this one out okay another great we have the sidebar here this is the container which is the major container this is the sidebar and we have a sidebar header here and at the bottom we have a sidebar footer inside it we're going to have the sidebar groups and inside the sidebar groups we can have this the individual sidebar items great and in closing the sidebar groups we have the sidebar content which can be scrollable with understanding of that we can first implement our first basic sidebar great let us just move down inside the documentation and you can see the steps of using a, a simple sidebar or including a simple sidebar in our application let, therefore let us create our most basic sidebar this one is just for us to understand therefore to use this we need to do the following we need to ensure that we are importing sidebar provider and sidebar trigger inside our app layout.tsx great let us do this we'll move inside our app layout.tsx come here inside the app then layout.tsx i'm going to drop this one down here but before we proceed i want just to clean up our project i'm going fast inside page.tsx and i'm going to collapse this div we did not write this code this is just an example code to get you started going to delete the whole div here and we can just have our own div and you can just leave it as empty we're also going to delete next image because we are not using an image great let us also clean up our layout.tsx so that we can proceed we do not need all these forms i'm going to delete all these forms and their imports if i'm also going to delete this import forms i just want to have a bare minimum great and also just move here inside the body this class name we need to delete this class name because it's, it is using this font if you have removed all the fonts correctly then you should not see even a red dot here to indicate that we have an error great after cleaning our layout.tsx we should only have this metadata and instead of title create next app we can just give it a different title or we can just call it learning sidebar menus great you can edit it like this we have title learning sidebar menus and description powered by shadi and ui great so your application or your layout.tsx should look like this we are only importing global.css the metadata and exporting this function root layout great let us include our sidebar so to do that we need to import sidebar provider and sidebar trigger great i'm just going to do that so on the top here i'm going to import we are importing sidebar provider and also sidebar trigger so we can click here sidebar trigger great we're importing sidebar provider and sidebar trigger and we're importing them from components ui sidebar great let us see the next step the next thing is we have to import app sidebar from components app sidebar but we have not created this app sidebar first let us skip that then i'm going to show you how to create our app sidebar because we are creating our app sidebar in the next step great then let us wrap our application with sidebar provider if i'm just going to 
wrap our application outside our main or outside our body. So we move just here outside the body and we can wrap it. So I'm going to say sidebar provider, great. And then I'm going to just cut this and ensure that it wraps the body. And the next step, after wrapping our application with sidebar provider, we need to call sidebar trigger just above the children here. I'm going to collapse this or just move down a bit and I'm going to copy to call sidebar trigger. And you can see we have a suggestion here, which is correct. And we have finished setting up our layout.ts. Great. The next thing is to create a sidebar. We need to create this sidebar compo up sidebar here. So where do we need to create it? I'm just going to follow the documentation to ensure that everything is complete and works as expected. So the next step, we need to create a sidebar component. So inside our components, we'll create a file and we shall name it app sidebar.tsx. Let us just do that. So I'll come here, then inside the components folder, I'm going to create a file new file we just need to name it app sidebar.tsx then press enter great the next thing we need to import the sidebar and sidebar com content from components ui sidebar let us just do that so coming here then we need to import sidebar and we are also importing sidebar content Great, so you can just do this sidebar content. Great, we're importing sidebar content and sidebar, but we are not importing it from Lucid React. It is at UI, so we can just use quotation marks, forward slash, or rather components, forward slash UI sidebar. Great, let us declare a basic function. So I'm going to declare a function here and just call it export default function. And I'm going to call the function app sidebar. Great. Inside the return, I'm going to return or I'm going to just call sidebar. So you can just type return and inside it, we can just call sidebar so we have a suggestion here which is correct i'm going to accept it we have sidebar we have sidebar and inside it we are calling sidebar content great 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 job and we've just finished creating our app.sidebar so if you want to have this suggestion you can just install app 9 or github copilot we also have another one known as Beto. So to install them is pretty easy. You can just move here inside extensions, click here inside extensions, and you can search something like Beto. Great, and you should see something like this, ChatGPT Beto AI completion, and you can just install it. We also, we also have another one called Tab9. So you can just search for Tab9 and you can install this one. So there are a lot of tools. We also have another one called Copilot. These are tools that are important for code auto completion. Great, let us proceed in our application. Now that we have created this component app sidebar, we can just call it inside our app layout here. So we're going to call it here inside this app layout. We can import it here at the top. Just import app sidebar. Great, and this is the correct import. We are importing app sidebar from components app sidebar. Great. Just above this sidebar trigger, we're going to call our app sidebar. So I have a suggestion here, which is correct. I'm going to accept it. So we have our app sidebar here. And for clarification, before we test this, I just want to ensure that the app sidebar provider should be inside the body, not outside the body. I'm going to copy this and place it here. Also, I'm going to cut this and ensure that it is inside the body. Great, that is the only change that we need to do. Let us go back inside our app sidebar. So inside the components, 
let me collapse this up sidebar.tsx let us customize this to customize this we need to look at the last steps which is adding sidebar menu to the sidebar this is the last step that we need to do for the icons we are going to use lucid react so to use lucid react we need to install lucid react I'm going back inside the terminal and just install lucid react so you can just type npm lucid react then press enter and this should install lucid react after installing lucid react we just need to move to the last step we'll navigate back to our documentation and you can see we need to add a sidebar menu item so we are going to have the following the sidebar content group group content the label and declaring an item this item is going to hold the contents of the sidebar for example you can have an, a home the url inbox the url and the icon i'm going to copy this for simplicity and then we can dive deeper right i'm going to copy all this so you can control a and control v then hit control s right the url here you can use a dynamic url for example slash home slash inbox slash calendar but for testing purposes and to keep it simple i'm just going to leave it like that then inside the terminal we can just type npm run if great ah great we can see that our server is running on localhost 3000 so when we click localhost 3000 you should see something like this beautiful this is a success we can close the nav bar and you can also open it this navbar is also used by ChatGPT, meaning its relevance in application. For example, when you search for ChatGPT, you can see a sidebar like this, which closes and also opens. Therefore, this is a world-class application or a world-class navbar. But at the moment, we have not put the links. Let us just go back and have a look at what has happened. We have the items here. We have declared the items here. We have the title, which is home, the inbox, the calendar, and the search icon, and the URLs. In our app sidebar function, we are just using a map function, and we are getting the individual item and mapping it, whereby the key is item.title. And for us to use a custom, a custom href, we need to use as child. Therefore, this one is recommended in the documentation right and then we, we can have a title item to title and item dot url right let us just change one url here for example i can change slash home instead of slash home let me just the inbox here let me just change this inbox to slash forward slash we use this forward slash inbox so that we can see its application in our application great i'm going to create this page inbox i'm going just here inside the app folder right click and a new folder i'm going to name it inbox and inside the inbox folder i'm going to create a new file page.tsx great and then inside page.tsx i'm just going to have a short command rfce Great. I'm going to delete this import React from React. Great. And you can have this page. And I'm going to call this page inbox. One thing you have to ensure is that this inbox, the naming of this inbox is the same as the one here. So it should be the same as here. So we can just go back in application and test whether when we click inbox, it should take us to this page. Great. Let us test this out. So when I click inbox, create, it has taken us to this page for inbox. You can also see the URL has changed to forward slash inbox, which is great. So whenever you have an application like this, you can also collapse and see that we are in the inbox page. This is so beautiful and it simplifies the development time of whatever application you're working with. So you can change the URL of all these and it can direct you to wherever you want in your application. I think this has been a very important tutorial. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, ensure you subscribe.
and see you in the next one thank you